going to start off with a frog analogy. There's this frog analogy uh, floating around, frog in a pot analogy, floating around on uh, Facebook, I think it is. And it's about a frog, right? I hate to use the frog analogy. I'm a vegan. I hate to see you know, animals suffer. But this analogy is, um, is, very, is very important for the subject that I'm about to talk about, which is uh, I, I want to talk about you know, federal prosecution of election um, offenses. Uh, someone brought it to our attention. This is a brilliant PDF. You're going to love this. I mean, this, this, um, th- this information is, is, uh, is very powerful. But when a frog, right? A frog is very a very a very adaptable creature, right? It could adapt to uh, adversity. It adapts to its environment when the environment changes. So, the observation, the cruel observation, is that when you put a frog in a pot and you start to boil the water, as the temperature rises, the frog doesn't jump out. It adjusts its body temperature to compensate for the increase in temperature, right? And as the water boils increasingly until the point of boiling, right, the frog is unable to jump out because it's so weak. It's exhausted all its energy in adjusting to the, the, the climate change. Now, what the hell does that have to do with, with anything other than a frog burning in a pot? Because people, people are very different. P- people are, are, are very similar. Human beings are very similar to that. And... In the workplace, you'll see people, um, especially in government agencies, you'll see people endure outrageous behavior, outrageous um, uh, uh, demands on them. Like the water, the water gets hotter and hotter and hotter until they they can't see outside of the pot. They don't they don't know what's going on in the world, and then they ultimately cook. And that's I, it's what what it. What it defines is how does corruption stay in place, right? That that the water that that the people that are are uh, in, you know uh, responsible for executing laws are literally in a pot boiling. So stand by with that one. But the other thing I want to talk about is is this right? In this country, we have the the reason why the 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 Constitution works is because the Constitution defines three divisions of power, separations of power, right? Judy Kopp always tells us about this. She always talking about the, you know, the the people don't understand the Constitution. And you're right. See, the Constitution is at the top, right? And there's three branches. There's executive branch in the middle. There's legislative branch who makes laws. The executive branch executes law, and then the the judicial branch uh, evaluates law. So the judicial branch is the Supreme Court, the lower courts. The executive branch is the president, the vice president, and his cabinet members, right? And then to the left of that is Senate and Congress, right? So, so the Constitution is at the top, right? The Constitution narrates the the three the three separations of power the divisions of power right but we don't have that anymore that's the, the problem that we're seeing is that the constitution has been replaced by an oligarchy right so so instead of and and all of the see the only the only way that separation of power can work is if people pay attention to the constitution right and what's in there but Instead, what you have is this this raining down of money that corrupts the system, right? And then that there is no separation of power. There, there's no checks and balances where Congress is holding the judicial responsible and 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 the Senate is, you know, there's so what what we essentially have is a very corrupt money, a, a raining down of money through an oligarchy, and that has overwhelmingly replaced the Constitution of the United States of America. We don't have of the people, by the people, and for the people. So I want to talk about election uh, election uh, fraud, right? Because the, the way to solve, the only way to solve the, the mass corruption we're seeing in government is to remove the, 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 
the money out of politics. But the only way you can do that is you have to hold the politicians accountable. Executive branch, president, judges, these three separations of power are so corrupted by money that there's no, there's no accountability. They're all just listening to the oligarchy. Whoever gives them the most money, whoever puts the most money in their, in their um, uh, campaign uh, accounts wins. So there's a PDF down below. You're going to love this. this is, it's really brilliant. It's called uh, Federal Prosecution of Election, Election Offenses, and it's uh, apparently the 8th edition. Now, this is uh, December 2017, so it's current. This is a, um, a PDF designed for, uh, for the judicial, for, I'm sorry, for the, for the cabinet members, for the Department of Justice, which is the executive branch. It's one of the cabinet members in the executive branch to execute the election fraud laws, right? Whenever something is a federal uh, election, like in the case of, Tim Canova in Florida, where that was a federal election for a federal congressional seat in Florida against Debbie Wasserman Schultz. They cheated, right? They cheated and got caught cheating. They actually admitted to, you know, uh, destroying paper ballots, right? I'll write that it was held up in court that they did it. Now, oh, oh I didn't do it. It was a mistake. It was a you know, and they play that, oh, it was a mistake thing. But no, as, as, a, as a federal election caught cheating, caught with, with actual stealing, or destroying paper ballots, or what happened here in New York where 200,000 voters were purged off the rolls prior to the election, they, they got caught doing it. They, they admitted it, doing it. So this is election fraud. Now, we're finding that there's no accountability, right, with Tim Canova, no accountability, because, because they all point the finger, because they're all taking the money, right? There's no more separation of power. The executive branch is responsible. So, so Trump, at this moment, is responsible for executing the investigations into election fraud. Trump is not calling that out. Look, Trump, I want to say something about Trump. Trump is historically will be uh, slated as one of the great presidents in terms of his efforts to expose to the people a very corrupt uh, mainstream media. Right? He's, he's very good at that. He's very good at explaining how, that, how, how they're lying. Right? A president, we've never had a president that's actually, actually done that, and we've never had a media so you know, you know, viscerally corrupt uh, and in bed with the oligarchs. See, see the, the the media. What Trump is saying is that the media is 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 working with the special interests, the oligarchies, the corporations that don't pay tax, the corporations that choke small businesses out of business, right? Because they have they control all the money, they control the banking system, they control Wall Street. They got they got all the power, right? Ten thousand companies, they take all the money. Uh, they 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 cry. Uh, oh well, it's trickle down economics. Give us tax breaks and a trickle down. Right? Money never trickles down. Trickle down economics is a failed idea. The 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 creator, the the guy who penned the theory of trickle down economics, Alan Greenspan, the then federal um, the the uh, Fed chair, the federal federal uh, the chairman of the Fed, right? The the bank, the bank Fed, right? He said Greenspan said. Throughout the, it, it, at the, the on his way out, said that trickle down economics doesn't work. It's it 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 it's a it's a, we were wrong, right? Throughout Reagan, he said it, and then then throughout Bush Senior, they continued with this policy of trickle down economics, giving corporations all the breaks in the world, and in the hopes that the money would rain down, but it never does, right? So, but the corporations still believe it. You have a president, a sitting president right now that still believes in the idea of the failed idea of trickle down economics. Right. So so on one hand, Trump is good in that he exposes the corruption. But on the other hand, he's a, he's a he's a functioning idiot in terms of economic uh, policy for the people, by the people of the people. Right. So here's his. Um, so so this thing. Right. Um. 
This edition update works with blah, 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 blah. the monogram. What what this PDF? I'm going to talk about this PDF. The monograph provides uh, internal Department of Justice. Where where where, where is it? Uh, okay, here here it is. Here's the overview, and I encourage you to read it. Pop open this PDF and read it. Right? The, the, uh, it was Jesuit Jesuit. I think your name is that. The, you, you got the Popeye icon. Brought this to my attention. This is really good. So this overview is written by, by lawyers, for lawyers, to advise the um, Department of Justice how to, ex how to, to, to move forward with uh, prosecuting election fraud. And this is, what the, this is what the overview of the book is about. This book was written to help federal prosecutors and investigators discharge the responsibility of the United States the, the Department of Justice in attacking corruption of election of the election process with all available statutes and theories of prosecution. It addresses how the department handles all federal election offenses. Other than those involving civil rights, which are enforced by the Departments of Civil Rights Division, the overview summarizes the Department of Policies as well as the legal and investigative considerations related to the investigative prosecution. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> the uh, introduction. In the United States, this is, this is wonderful. Now, in the United States, as in other democratic societies, it is through the ballot box that the will of the people is translated into government that serves rather than oppresses. Right? It is through elections that the government is held accountable to the people and political conflicts are channeled into peaceful solutions, resolutions. And it is through elections that power is attained and transferred. Right? Our constitutional system of representative, representative government only works when the worth of honest ballots is not diluted by invalid ballots procured by corruption. As the Supreme Court stated, every voter in, an, in a federal election, whether the votes for a candidate with little chance of winning or for one with little chance of losing, has a right under the Constitution to have his vote fairly counted without it being distorted by fraudulent cast, casted votes. When the election process is corrupted, democracy is jeopardized. Accordingly, the effective prosecution of corruption of the election process is a significant federal law enforcement priority. Although corruption, corrupt governments may exist without election crime, when election crime exists, public corruption of some form is also usually present. So it's like, it's like, it's unbelievable how accurate. This is so, this is so because virtually all election crime is driven by a motive to control governmental power for some corrupt purpose. Election crime cases therefore often provide effective tools for attacking other forms of public corruption. The task of the federal prosecutor an investigator is not only to vindicate the fundamental principle of fair elections by convicting those who corrupt them, but also to find the motive behind the election fraud and, when possible, to prosecute those involved in the underlying corruption. That's the whole thing, right? And then it goes on. It's 200 pages of, of uh, ways that federal prosecutors can uh, do their job. Excuse me. So there are several, I'll go on, several reasons why election crime prosecutors may, persist, may present an easier means of obtaining convictions than do other forms of public corruption. Election crimes usually occur largely in public. So what they're saying, what they go on to say that, that the election, the election uh, fraud is never a single person. It's, it involves numerous schemes Election crimes often involve many players. For example, successful voter bribery schemes requiring numerous voters. Ballot box stuffing requires control of all the election officials in a polling location. And illegal political contributions. That's the real one. Illegal political contributions generally involving numerous conduits to disguise the transactions. Ah, wow. DNC. That's the, that's, that's their, that was their whole game, which was you know, political contribution. 
election crimes tend to leave paper trails rather than in-state voting documentation or in public reports filed by judicial campaigns. Okay, so there's a lot, there's a lot of information in this file. I'm not going to go through the whole thing because it's, it, I'm already in 15 minutes of, of reading. But what I want to say is this, that unless, you, it, unless, unless the Justice Democrats, unless the, the Bernie Crats, unless the, the, the Our Revolution people, unless the Trump supporters get behind the idea that you are being ripped off, your democracy is being ripped off in the form of election fraud, right, where the people speak with all their might and all their power and, and, and their very, very little spare time because of the frog analogy. They're boiling in the pot, and they're just, they're just waiting to get cooked while the oligarchs, with all the money and all the power, sit on their, sit on their boats and sit in their high offices getting you know, three massages a day and, and having a you know, uh, you know, personal trainer and a personal, personal chef, right? The people, the people suffer, right? So... So in the case of in the case until we until we eradicate election fraud, right, which is hiding as the, as the reading said is hiding the greater scheme, which is covering for the oligarchy, covering for the fact that they've eradicated the constitution and they've they've corrupted the the uh, the separations of power between executive, uh, judicial. And and uh, what's the other one? Le legislative. The three separations of power. The oligarchy is corrupting these organizations. Now, the executive branch is responsible for the things that I just read. So, historically, from 2016, you must hold the State Department accountable. And that was uh, uh, what's her name? <laughs> I forgot the the the, the then uh, Secretary of uh, the then. Uh, uh, what what totally had a brain freeze um uh L Loretta Lynch excuse me right now it's um it's uh, Jeff Sessions right the the head of the state department right right at the time was Loretta Lynch under Obama direct and and below him was 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 uh was was uh James Comey and below him was was uh McCabe right so you had all of these the, the executive branch, they were responsible for calling out the, the election fraud. And instead of calling it out, they gave the states cover to, 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 to stick the knife in, in, in first Bernie Sanders' back. And then they, they went further and doubled down on the, the, uh, the, the, the fraud and went after Trump. Right? So that's some serious corruption. When... All, all you have is the FBI, the Federal Bureau, is the only people that can execute prosecution of, of federal elections at the state level. And they're all taking the money. McCabe took money directly from the Clintons to run a failed campaign for his wife, right? Comey, all these people, they were all promised, you know, promised uh, positions in the cabinet, whatever. Right? So, so... So again, I encourage you. I went on a little bit too long, but but I encourage you to uh, pop this PDF open and read it. I'm going to continue to to go through it myself. But it says a lot about um, it says a lot about the state of our uh, our our democracy or lack of democracy, right? Right. It's not it's not that we don't have democracy. It's that we have we that we have bloated capitalism where it's now moved into the, the the area of oligarchy and what we need to do is 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 have true and fair elections of the people by the people for the people and put representatives into the legislative branch right so that they can make laws that the executive branch can execute and that the judicial can oversee unless you switch out the Senate and the Congress. You could blame the president all you want. The president doesn't make law. The Senate and Congress make law. Judicial carries it out. They're all corrupted by the money. But until you get true representation of the people through free and fair elections, none of the other stuff is really, really possible, right? You'll never get money out of politics. You'll never get you'll never get a, a government that 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 supports the people through 
single payer health care through free college tuition at state and city universities will tax the rich and and bring the oligarchy back back down to size so that that the the rest of the civilization the rest of the 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 uh, the United States the people in the United States will uh, prosper from that wealth right so my name is Marcus Conti I'm running for United States Senate among other things but uh, I'm a YouTube blogger and uh, I, I hope that was helpful I, I thought about that today <laughs> about when when this PDF landed on me I think I think it's things we've already known but the Tim Canova thing that there's now evidence on the table and we, we no longer have a media that will talk about it. And it's up to us to talk about it. It's us it's up to us now to bring it it's to bring it forward and, and uh tell people about it. So peace.